1 Corinthians, the first chapter, and the 27th verse from the New King James Version. And it reads like this. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. We shall talk from the subject on tonight. When God talks foolish, <clears throat> when God talks foolish, when we exegete the theological ramification of this text, we must conclude that God is not a foolish God. Neither does He do foolish things. But what Paul is simply saying in this text that from the perspective of carnal minded folks, God does foolish things because they cannot understand spiritual meaning from a common perspective. You must agree that God does not operate through logics. God does not operate through natural meaning because God is supernatural. So therefore, a common-minded person cannot understand the movement of God. Common-minded person cannot understand God through democracy. Because in democracy, the majority rules. But God is a majority read by himself. Person cannot understand God through politics because Jesus is the King of Kings, He's the Lord of Lords. You don't have to vote Him in, and you definitely can't vote Him out. Common that person cannot understand God through the judicial system. Because according to justice, if you are wrong, you have to suffer the consequences. But when you go to the righteous judge, go to the court of justice, your sin may be as black as midnight. Only thing you have to do is plead guilty by confessing your faults. I'm a witness that he'll drop the charges, dismiss the case, and set you free. Come on, the person cannot understand God through mathematical equations. Because God can take nothing and make something. God is the only mathematician that can add by subtracting and multiply by dividing. See, God never takes anything from you. Without giving you something better. He took away sin. But he gave me salvation. He 
He took away my weeping at night. But he gave me joy in the morning. He took away my burdens. But he left me with a soul. He took away my broken heart. But he left me with a testimony. And I understand God through scientific observation. Because after I got saved, I took my black sin to the laboratory of redemption. Jesus dipped them in red and came out whiter than snow. Cannot understand God's mean through medical science. Sometimes the doctors will tell you it's all over. But I know a man who the doctors of doctors. The mortician was left without a body. The deaf angel was left without a soul. And the patient was left with a testimony. And you cannot understand the movement of God through just one song. Because I had to change my song. I went to bed singing if I don't wake up in the morning. Everything will be alright. But then after the Lord brought me through the day, I changed it in 24 hours by saying it's another day's journey. And I'm so glad So the world does not understand believers. To us, we are foolish. When we talk about things, I lost my job. But see us saying, God will provide. Here we are, two months behind in a mortgage payment. The light bill due. Money spent before you get it. But yet you come to church shouting all over the place. Talking about God will make a way somehow. It's foolish to a common man when we are sick in the doctor has given us only six months to live. But we're still saying he's a healer. I know he is a healer. Also, it's foolish to a common man uh, when we are back against the wall. We don't see our way out. But yet we are still trusting in God. It sounds foolish to him when I'm really looking funny. I change looking strange. And we walk around here talking about I'm rich. Because my father is rich. And then we have the audacity to ask them, well, if you're rich, I want to know who your banker is. Is it Fargo? No. Is it BB and T? No. Is it Bank of America? No, the bank that I serve. God is the president of this bank. Jesus is the chairman of the trustee board. Every now and then I have the deposit sealed with prayer. But I wish 